everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for the Simon Says Stamp blog. Today I'm starting out with this stamp from the United States Postal Service and it features the moon and it happens to be a global stamp. And I'm going to be pairing it with this new stamp set from Lawn Fawn that has a cute little space guy in there. So that global stamp of the moon, I thought it would be really fun to kind of take a cue from that and create an envelope that sort of mimicked a galaxy or like a nighttime sky or whatever, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to do that with distress inks. I'm using an envelope from Simus' stamp. This is one of their ultra heavy white envelopes. So it's a slightly bit thicker than a standard white envelope and it has a really nice texture to it. It's not super smooth, but it's not really, you know, heavy, rough texture. It's just got a little bit more tooth to it than like, I would say, Nina Solar White. It works great with blending, however, and I thought it'd be fun to kind of blend some colors together to create that galaxy. So before I blend any more colors on here, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the little spaceman, and I'll go ahead and stamp him also on some masking paper. This is Simon's stamp masking paper, and I'm using some black ink from Simon as well. So I use my scissors to cut out that mask, and this is going to go over the top of that stamped spaceman on the envelope, and it's going to protect that area while I do some more blending. So at this point, I've only used four colors of Distress Ink. That pink is Picked Raspberry, the purple is Seedless Preserves, the yellow is Mustard Seed, and the blue is Chipped Sapphire. And the last color I'm going to be blending on with is Black Soot. This is just going to intensify a bunch of those colors and give a little bit more like a... Um, space or universe look to it. Now I'm not doing really heavy blending on this. I want it to be a little bit softer. If you wanted to blend this out like super, super dark, you really could. In fact, my galaxies that I usually paint are more like that, but I wanted it to be a little bit softer this time. So that global uh, postage stamp wasn't sticking onto my envelope because I had so much ink down. So I ended up putting some more adhesive on the back and I just used some Tombow Extreme Adhesive. And before I move on to creating the stars or coloring the spaceman, I'm going to go ahead and address my envelope. So like I said before, this is a global stamp and it's a forever stamp, meaning that uh, it will cover uh, first class postage to anywhere in the world for a standard letter. So I've made some really specific decisions with this letter so that I would only have to use that postage stamp. For one thing, I made sure that the area where the address is is white and I'm using a dark color to write in the address. So it's nice black. In fact, this black pen is from Pilot and it's waterproof and it's called an envelope addressing pen and I've had it for years. I absolutely love it. Simon Says Stamp now carries it in their store. So if you want to pick up one of these pens, which is super inexpensive, while you're ordering some new stamps or dies or some supplies, you can pick that up in the Simon store. As far as the return address area, I couldn't get a good white pen to work on this, so I did have to improvise a little bit. I'm using some Dr. P.H. Martin's pen white with an oblique pen holder and a calligraphy nib. You could try to do this with like a white paint pen or you could even put a label over this area and then it would be white and you could use a regular pen to write this in. Or I think you might even be able to use that pilot envelope addressing pen because it's nice and black. I think that might even have enough contrast. Um, I just really wanted the, the senders, like the, the recipient's address to be really high contrast so that I wouldn't have any problems with the post office thinking that this was non-machinable, meaning it can't be read by the machines that automatically, um, you know, sort all of the mail. The way it is now, that recipient's address should be just fine. It should be machinable. There shouldn't be any problems. So um, anyway, so then I went back to my white pen because I needed to create all the stars. So I'm just doing some really random uh, small and large dots and also kind of some sparkly, glistening stars. I'm going all around that area. And the reason why I waited until this point to do all these stars is because I didn't want any of the stars to interfere with the addresses. 
uh, the stamped Spaceman or the postage stamp. Um, after I had blended on most of the galaxy area, I considered using like a white paint and splattering on the stars, but I didn't want that paint to go anywhere <laughs> where I didn't want it. So I thought using a white gel pen would have a little bit more control. So now I'm using some Prismacolor colored pencils to color in the little space guy. And this is really simple coloring. I'm not doing anything real intense. In fact, this entire envelope is on the more simple side. I think I'd love to create multiples of this envelope because it worked so quickly. So I'm coloring on with the blue and red. And then I'm using kind of like a light lavender shade to add some shading on the white areas. I use purple because I thought it really mimicked that kind of space look that I have going with the galaxy. And then as I went over it with the white colored pencil, it softened out that purple a little bit. So even though it is like a light lavender shade, to the eye it reads as if it's white. So add a little more shading around his face. And then because the colored pencil can kind of dull out some of those lines, I used that same black pen to intensify the lines once again. And that made it so everything stood out nice and bold and I didn't have any kind of faded areas. So now I'm going to protect the envelope so that if it ever comes in contact with water or rain or snow or anything as it makes its way across over to gel, I'm going to use some Distress Microglaze. And like I mentioned in, I think it was last month or the month previous, that envelope that I did, uh, Microglaze kind of puts a seal over all of your areas where you've applied it and it prevents it from getting wet. So the thing you want to remember with this is don't put the, the microglaze over your postage stamp because then when they go to cancel it out, they won't, the ink will just slide right off and they'll have problems with it. So don't go over your postage stamp and then make sure you wipe it off with a paper towel just to get rid of any excess. So that's the envelope for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a super fun one. I thought it'd be really simple just to use one stamp from a stamp set and then pair that with a really interesting postage stamp. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.